Shoo! Welcome back, folks, to the ranch. We finally made it back out here. I feel like it's been a few few days here. Exciting stuff going on, okay? We are staying the night tonight, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna scout. Well, not re uh, scouting's the wrong word. Scouting is the word you use when you're looking for something that you're then gonna go like hunt i mean technically yeah but like not we're i don't want people to think we're using this to scout we're, we're exploring that's a better word because nothing we see today is really going to affect us in, in what we go after as far as game goes um basically what i'm saying is i'm not out here scouting deer with a thermal scope to then go hunt the deer it ain't deer season and we ain't doing that so just like i said we are going to be using a thermal we brought one out no pew just the scope alone okay so we're not hunting nothing no coyotes or we're not shooting nothing okay but we got a thermal just the scope alone and we are going to be looking for whatever's out here okay a lot of you guys suggested we do this saying we should come out here well a lot of you guys said we should do it with a drone but i don't i don't have that fancy equipment so um we've got a scope and then we've got the old golf cart the old hunting wagon machine silent the death stalker silent guy okay so that way we can silently cruise around and look for stuff deer coyotes bobcats raccoons rabbits i don't I, I mean whatever's in here who knows maybe there's still elk out here and they're just nocturnal son of guns we just hadn't seen him yet probably not but um we have some other stuff to do as well this guy right here is an air conditioning unit for the cabin and zach's with me you excited oh, yeah. good ac well you weren't here the first time when we stayed the night without ac no. it wasn't all that enjoyable so ac unit that's priority we're gonna start it up first and get everything cooled off and then we're gonna take this and we've got bags of corn to put in the feeders we almost have a reshipment re of uh, of protein stuff from from next level and they're gonna be sending us a whole bunch of stuff and so we um we're waiting on that essentially it should be here in the next couple days so we went up and got some corn just so we could fill the feeders the, all the trail cameras around here completely dead so we got new batteries and we also have a solar powered kit okay never tried it before but it's like literally a solar panel with a battery you plug it in and you should never have to change your batteries in the trail cameras ever so we're going to try doing that um and try to get all that kind of stuff set up and ready for the day and then basically that's what we're going to do we're gonna cook some dinner hang out enjoy the ranch life the cabin life and then once it gets dark get the thermal scope out and start doing one. oh there's chupacabra over there you know one of them things so what we're we're gonna find tonight no idea we've only driven around during the day we've never explored anything at night we have a couple trail cameras that i've just seen mainly deer and raccoons and the normal stuff but we're hoping to see some cool stuff tonight it'd be really awesome if we saw like a bobcat it'd be kind of cool i mean coyotes obviously would be pretty cool too um and also yeah like i said depending on what we see if we do see a bunch of coyotes we might come back and then do some coyote hunt like put the thermal on a gun at that point and go coyote hunting we just kind of want to see what's out there we're not again today's objective isn't hunting it is exploring this the abandoned high fence ranch at night night ops no lights just the thermal so that's kind of the plan with that being said first thing we're gonna do let's go inside and let's see how hot it is i, I want to see it i it may not be that bad it's been kind of cool in the mornings well the fan's on okay what are we we're at 78 okay not terrible but this is our sleeping accommodations we're gonna put that ac unit out of that window so that way when we sleep it'll stay nice and cool we do have the bunk bed set up if you guys saw the first overnight video we got this thing set up and this is where banjo slept into banjo things i don't think the ac is gonna make it back here maybe not fully we might have to get another ac it's like a window ac unit but it's like a really big one um i'm hoping that will that will work so this is kind of what it's left like i'm not seeing any i'm not seeing any mouse poop i don't oh uh, maybe I, mean, I was curious if they'd get in here. We hadn't sent any mouse traps or nothing yet. We got a little bit of food and whatnot, but like I said, that's pretty much the plan. We're staying overnight in the cabin. We're gonna get the AC unit kicking, get this thing down to like 70 degrees so we can sleep nice tonight and not um, like I did the previous time we stayed out here. I didn't get much sleep. Um, like I said, and then just do some chores, just relax. It's beautiful out here, sunny. It's like 80, 85 degrees and just enjoy some nature, some peace and quiet. You guys know what I'm saying. So with that being said, enjoy us trying to figure out how to put this AC unit together. Dude, it is blowing cold air, ice cold air. That is what I'm talking. Can you guys, can you get a little bit? Of, can you hear me? Oh my, dude, it's so cold too. So cold. Oh yeah, we're gonna drop her down. Get her down to like 68. Oh god, yeah. She's super easy. Just literally hook it up to the window. I mean, this thing was like 400 bucks, but the thing is, it has heat too. So if I get like one of maybe two more of these things, one for that room and one for this room, then we've got full AC, full heat, 
in the whole thing for you know around 1200 bucks it's kind of expensive but so worth it i mean on a day like today where it's 90 degrees and sunny this is going to be feeling real good when we when we go to sleep so to give you guys an update and i want your guys' feedback too we're thinking back here now this room's already set up for sleeping which you might be wondering why do you have beds in the living room on the floor when you could just put the beds here we didn't want to like move stuff in here because we're going to move it out what we want to do here is make this the man cave the chill spot, the dude zone, okay? Take all this junk out, put some TVs there, big TV, PlayStation, Xbox, the, all that jazz, and then maybe like three recliners or a love scene or recliner or some bean bags or something. And this is where we can go to just like chill, you know, relax, take a nap, watch some football or something like that where like we come and have like a mini fridge like right over there. This is our chill spot. You know, edit, maybe crank on some edits and just relax. Then we're thinking over here, and I think I've been over this, but in case you're new here, this is like the current living room. We want to turn this into like the dining room. Um, it's also a hangout spot, but like take out the couch, obviously move these beds, have a big dining table, okay? And then have like some hooks and stuff for like, like a drop zone for all your boots and your gear. So you kind of walk in, you know, maybe put some tile down or some laminate or something that can get wet, hang up all your stuff, have a table, you know, maybe have a couple like shelves over there where you can charge your camera batteries and stuff like that. And that this is like where we eat um, and have a table to like sit at, you know, have meetings, big business stuff. You guys know the drill. And then obviously kitchen's gonna say kitchens, bathrooms, bathroom. And then this one, we just need to add another mattress. So this is the bunk room where two beefcakes can sleep. And then we're thinking add like a futon or a hide a bed or some type of other bed in the current bunk room. That's gonna be the man case. So that way, I mean, usually it's just three of us um, that stay here. I mean, if you wanted to sleep more, you probably could. Um, but we felt that the current bunk room, although it's currently set up to sleep a bunch of beefcakes, we want a chill spot. We want a spot that we can hang out in. This spot could work. Like you could leave the couch and put a TV, but it just, you, you're missing a dining room. You're missing a room to like, you know, have dinner at and, you know, eat all your catch and cook, especially in the winter. Um, so I think this is going to be turned into the man cave. So if you guys have any cool ideas for us um, as far as like what to do, but mainly take out, this is going to suck. I'm just going to bring a hacksaw and just start cutting this metal. I ain't yeah. taking this metal apart. Like it's a cool idea, but it it's might not be that much. It looks like there's a couple bolts. couple bolts to take out. It's not, yeah, it's really, it honestly, it's, it's kind of cool. And I feel stupid taking it out because, you know, you can sleep four people super comfortably. We could put an AC unit and heat right there and you would have a room i don't know i just feel like we didn't come here to sleep we came here to have a good time have a man cave and like do cool stuff and that's kind of the idea is like redo this cabin transform it a little bit so let us know is that a bad idea would you leave this the bunk room and maybe make the other room the hangout room i just feel like coming back here after a long day of either fishing hunting whatever we're doing kick back in a recliner sip on a mountain shoe you know eat some food watch some tv edit a little bit to me i think this room has a good vibe too because you can close it off you you shut the door we could watch movies and stuff and just again a nice little hangout spot that's kind of what we're thinking but let us know what you guys think this room is going to cool down really quick by okay. the way we are, that's not helping right now so ac is installed now we're on to outdoor chores okay we're going to start off we're going to go around to all the feeders trail cameras change the batteries install some solar panel stuff throw some corn on the ground kind of just do a routine check we haven't been here for a little bit so just kind of make sure everything is good to go um so with that being said you guys stay tuned Shoot, corn, solar charger for the cameras or something like that. Um, look at all this. We got some delicious jerky from the exotic ram that I shot. Mmm, delicious. And we got some snack sticks. Those are pretty good too. They don't taste like sheep, do they? Bussing. The bu oh, they're all the old bussing in there. So we're all geared up. We got some mountain shoe, some water, some jerky corn. Um, like I said, the, the reason why we're taking the golf cart today, nothing else, is we're trying to stay quiet because we want to explore. Once it gets dark, so we don't want to scare anything. So we're going to try to be, I mean, we can talk talk but we don't want mules running around or guns going off or nothing like that so so we're gonna go run, run around and just take you guys along with us on like just you know the, the casual ranch chores um if we see anything cool we'll let you know kind of give you updates on everything and get everything kind of back up and running i said it's been a few days since we've been down here i feel like it kind of just needs to be freshened up a little bit and then we're going to come back cook some dinner um we've got some more wild game like i said in previous videos uh we tried to consume like i would say 80 to 90 percent wild game when we're here at the ranch just because there's no close grocery stores we're in the middle of freaking nowhere and obviously it's a great way to you know deplete our meat supply from harvesting all of the delicious animals it's not that i don't like eating wild game sometimes it's easier just to run down to the store and grab you know mcdonald's or something like that than it is to cook up a deer broth but since you're in the middle of nowhere it, you kind of don't have you it's good you don't have the excuse oh let's just run up to the store and grab it. that that isn't an option here so um and again it's a, it's a win-win i love eating wild game and it gives me an opportunity to really you know kind of dive into it try new recipes listen to you guys get your guys feedback stuff like that so so that's what we're gonna be cooking up tonight is some more wild game and then once it gets dark we'll do some exploring so with that being said let's go fill these feeders Shoo! made it to the first spot folks we are actually right across from the cabin the shops right here um we've got this guy going on here and 
it is practically empty. There's a little bit, now that I can shake it a little bit, there's a little bit of protein. Oh yeah, here's the mineral. Okay, okay. Ah, it don't look like it's been hit too bad. We'll definitely add a little bit. So what they recommend is 10 pounds per site per month. So we'll dump 10 pounds on there and mix it up a little bit. But yeah, it's this thing. There's some, but it's it's pretty much empty. So we'll end up just dumping a bag of corn in this. And then, like, so we've got some, some mineral here. This is the next level. Here, so this is supposed to make their antlers get all big and bulky and stuff like that. So we'll start with that and add 10 pounds. There we go. Well, I'm gonna leave it like that. Sometimes you can mix it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And that way I can kind of see what the deer do. If they've been stomping on it or not, it's kind of hard to tell. But mineral down, let's get some corn in the feeder. Look at this. You don't even have to get out the mule. See, I told you, this golf cart's the ultimate hunting machine. Oh yeah, she's freaking empty, boys. Perfect, chummed a little bit for him. Corn, check. So now we're on trail cameras. This guy is as dead as it gets here, folks. So go ahead and do a battery swap. Like I said, I've got this guy, a dual solar battery box. So supposedly you wouldn't have to change batteries. I'm gonna change them now, obviously, to get some freshies in there, but these things last, depends on the battery brand, honestly. I'm finding out quickly if you skimp on battery brands, start getting some no-name stuff, they don't really last as long. So you kind of have to spend the extra penny um, to get some longevity, but hopefully the solar will make it last at least, you know, all summer. That way we get lots and lots of pictures of the deer and whatever other critters are kind of running around here without having to spend a fortune on these batteries. You might think batteries aren't that expensive, but this sucker takes 12 of them and they're about a buck a piece. So $12 per trail camera per time you have to change them. And if you got to change them once a month and you got 10 trail cameras, that's 120 bucks a month. That's, I think that's quite a bit of money. So go ahead and swap these batteries and then we're going to tear into the solar and see if we can get it to work and hopefully get some good pictures of the deer that are going to munch on the corn. And we got a little bit of protein and some mineral left. All right. Oh, I think it goes right there. Ooh. Oh yeah, we got some lights. That's good. That's good. All right. Let's try to open the sucker. That worked. All right. Solar kit. Instructions. Don't need those. Boom. Look at that. Well, this thing's kind of cool. So I think it's pretty simple. You just take this little cord. I think you're supposed to, you're probably supposed to put this somewhere not on the ground because I feel like it's probably not going to get a ton of sun just sitting on the ground. You're probably going to, what direction? That's south. Yeah, we might have to, might have to come back and put them on like buckets or give them something to sit on. But I think this just sits right here. Shut that. We're going to face it towards the feeder right over there. And then look at that whole freaking battery in there. So I'm guessing you just connect these guys red to red and black to black. Okay. Take the film off, I'm assuming. Ooh. You think that's it? I feel like that was pretty simple. Maybe I should read, read the instructions. No, I didn't. I, <laughs> maybe I should read the instructions. That one's in Spanish. That don't give me a whole lot of good. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see how smart I was. No instructions. Black to black, red to red. Got it. Freaking tickle. Um, blinking. Make sure the 12 volt unit's completely charged. We're supposed to charge these? I thought it was solar power. I thought it was solar power. Why do I got to charge if it's solar? How does that work? So where's the... Oh, there's something right here. Okay. Oh, it's red. Blinking red. What does that mean? Charging. All right, we're good. All right, so it's charging. That's probably a good thing, right? So I need to figure out where to put all this other stuff. Oh, tick on your leg. Really? Oh, God, yeah. Big Daddy. Oh, he's sucking away, too. Oh, there's a charger here. Hmm. And then a strap... Oh, it's here. I think you're supposed to strap it to the tree. We don't have a tree here, though. So I feel like... We'll be all right with this current setup. If we don't, none of ours are on trees now, I think about it. The sun should be doing one of them things, I think. How's that? Stay? No? Yeah, I can just tie it. I can make it work. I mean... Huh. Looks like solar to me. We couldn't get it on a, a tree or nothing, but I mean... That's gotta get something better than nothing. I mean, worst case, you just change the batteries. I mean, I'd like to think the solar would work. So, well, I mean, we'll keep you guys updated if it works or not. Site number one out of three, complete. See you guys at the next one. Ew, 
we well we're not at the next spot but I had to give you guys an update on the pond we got hella cheese out here folks i don't see any bullfrogs though it's kind of kind of disappointing i figured hey if i can't fish the thing oh just kidding oh big 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 Susie mcgee right over down in there if you guys can see her that's big nancy oh dude there's a bunch of them oh god yeah oh oh, oh yeah we're gonna have to wait a little while season doesn't open here until like mid to late summer but that is big old juicy mama right there probably so there's one i see a little one over there but i think i see all these eyes there's a whole bunch of them around here i figured it would be good for bullfrogs at the very least okay um but you guys might be wondering what is the latest update on this well this hole needs to be fixed at some point but um i talked to chad he's my pond builder guy he did the cabin pond and right now what we're thinking is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna take a bunch of dirt from that mountain over there and a little bit over there and build this sucker up probably from where we're at now because like the distance between where i'm at to the water is probably give or take four or five feet we're probably gonna add 15 foot on top of it bring it up um, so we're gonna bring the whole pond up 15 feet so what you see now is gonna be 15 foot deep and that is gonna flood everything all the way back there almost to the cabin so like we're just gonna have a full-blown lake in the middle of this property and I measured it on maps and it's pushing 10 acres so right now you've got about a acre and a half ish pond right here you're gonna make it 10 times as big so just imagine one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of these just whoo, strung all back it's not gonna be super wide it's gonna be kind of like my pond at my house where it just kind of runs up the ravine um it probably won't get much wider than this but it's gonna run the entire length and all those trees over there all them big sally bass are gonna be living up under those suckers oh look at those ducks up there you see those ducks right there um so that's kind of what we're thinking rather than dredging it dredging it you don't really get far in life dredging you're better off just building up so this pond is gonna go from right now it's about two three foot it's gonna get to you know maybe 20 at the deepest right here um and then hopefully the whole the rest of it you know be seven to twelve ish and we can the thing is all that's dry over there so we could you know put some rock piles over there you can see we've already got one brush pile probably leave that guy right there and we can dig some holes and it, that's what's going to be cool is before we even flood it we can actually like create the structure and do all that before the water gets up um it's going to be probably a little while before that fills um just because we're thinking about coming out here in the next month or two and doing that um unless we get a ton of rain this summer there's a chance we aren't going to be able to stock this pond until next year but there is a there is a stream over there a creek if i can get chad to grab that creek and pull it into here meaning like you know go over there and build the dam across that creek and flood this then we might have a better shot so we're not really sure but i want to give you guys an update like i said i feel like it's been a while since i've kind of we, we talk every video we talk about plans and i never give you like updates until it's happening that's kind of the update we're looking about a month or two out and hopefully we're going to raise this up i just don't know if we're gonna have a, enough water to stock it this year it's really just going to depend on the rain and stuff like that so next feeder's right over there we'll see you guys over there Shoo! we made it to the next one folks this one is the this one doesn't get hit as often but uh -oh. They, I mean, what what was here has been eaten. This thing has a little bit left, but I mean, maybe, because this thing I'm pretty sure was full last time we came down here. So maybe they figured this out. The problem is our trail camera has been dead for like two weeks. So that's that's the problem is we don't know what's been working, what hasn't been. And like, so we don't have any more protein. So we're just throwing some corn in there just to keep them to coming to the spot. Am I, am I getting this figured out here? Maybe you gotta take it all the way out. There you go. Oh, spiders. Spiders? Yeah, really? A couple right here. God. Oh yeah, it's empty. All right, well, I guess they were using it. Let's get to filling. Freaking hot out here, folks. Well, site number two, complete. We got feed in there, mineral down on the ground, and a new trail camera set up with the solar. Hopefully it all connects. Like I said, I, I kind of miss seeing the pictures. I haven't seen pictures of something for like a couple weeks now. So we've got one more, which is gonna be on that end, and we're doing good on time. Sun's still high. We're not spooking no animals. We haven't seen any animals. We haven't spooked anything yet. Um, so we'll see you guys at the last spot. Shoo! 
we made it to the last spot here, folks. Still ain't seen no deer, nothing, but like I said, it's a little late, and that's what we got the thermals. But this guy is absolutely picked clean, folks. There's a little bit left, but look at that. That's how you know they're hitting the mineral, when you got a freaking hole down there, okay? that That's how it's like, okay, yep, they're, they're obviously they're obviously here and eating it. The other ones were kind of like 50-50. The one by the cabin, I thought, got hit more than the last one we were just at. Dude, that creek's flowing. That's a good sign. We we've, we've haven't had any rain, so the fact that that's, that's flowing is pretty, pretty good. That means there's going to be a sustainable water source down here hopefully year round but dude it has, got, it has gotten so green right here like this is it's greened up super nice i really do want to find a place for a food plot here. oh there's a squirrel i do want to find a food place for a food plot here maybe we just do the ones that are up there but this just to me is just screams white tail i don't know something about it just i said it since the beginning this is the spot this is the juice but anyways let's get everything reloaded Last one is complete. We actually did the sport way we we're supposed to. We hooked up to the tree. Oh yeah, see the sun's hitting it a little bit. It's hitting this side better. But the uh, south sun should kind of go over. I don't know. There's a lot of trees here. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. But that's the idea. You strap it to a tree. You've got your cord dangling and you've got your camera pointed right there. This one is looking good. I guess this is kind of where my gut tells me we're gonna shoot big, big Bertha here. Refilled up. There is some protein left in it. It was just kind of tilting, so it's kind of banked up on one side. Got it refilled. Got some new mineral down on the ground. So that being said, as you can see, we still got a little bit of daylight, so we are gonna head back and head back to camp, get to cooking, eat some dinner. We gotta wait for it to get dark. And then once it gets dark, we're exploring at night with thermal, with the absolute silent golf cart. Stay tuned. Shoo! We are ready to cook, folks. As you can tell, it's starting to get a little dark out here. Um, we ran to the store. We got deer weenies, okay? This is what we ate last time. But Zach over here, I said, what side do you? He said, sweet potatoes. I think, okay, sweet potatoes. How are we gonna cook a sweet potato? He thought the microwave. So I've never done that before. Microwave sweet potato. I, it, it might work, it might not. So we're gonna get the weenies cooked up first. So for those of you guys that are new, these are cheddar cheese wieners made out of deer. This is straight up deer meat. I mean, I'm sure they mix all sorts of other stuff in here as well that make it taste a little little bit better than just straight venison, but overall, it's pretty good. You haven't had one of these before, have you? No, I haven't. Because I feel like you might be thinking deer is like, eh, I think you're going you're gonna to be impressed with this. I mean, you know it's, I've oh, said this before, that. you know it's the good stuff when they're attached. That's when you know oh, you're yeah. dangling with the good stuff. You want, you thinking one wiener or two wiener? What are you, what are you feeling? How hungry are you? I'll get two wieners. You, you want two wieners? All right, I guess, I guess I have to go two wieners and I can't just be a solo weenie. We're going to throw them on this grill. I need to bring an actual grill out here. That grill over there, Kind of scares me to open it a little bit. For now, I'm gonna stick with my little catch and cook type deal. I mean, this will this will work nice. So we're gonna go ahead and cook this up. Let's go inside and we'll see what Zach can do with the sweet potato. Shoo! It is 72 in here, folks. The goal is like 70, so we're close. We'll get we'll get there. And that's pretty good. I was like, I mean, it's been a while, a few hours, but I mean, for just that little sucker going, I got that fan going. My finger hurts real bad, by the way. I just burned it off camera. That sucks. But I mean, it's even 72 is comfortable to sleep in. I'm more of like a 69 guy personally, 70-ish. But I mean, 70 will work so what do you okay what are we looking for here of this will work just put some oh yeah you gotta put some holes in yeah. it my fingers actually hurting real bad i might need to put something on it i need something cold oh sheesh could just grab you a cold beer you think cold beer cold beer would <laughs> cold do, beer in the hand i mean done, dude, just hold on to the cold beer huh <laughs> it might right now i'm putting it on a piece of ham that's a pig that I butchered. Uh, I don't really have anything to, I mean, I might just have to keep it on here for a minute here. Just hang, oh, here, I can film you from here. Don't worry, I'll just, I'm gonna sit here and just, yeah, I, I, I made a stupid mistake. I grabbed a piece of metal on that grill out there and whatever. Anyway, so, uh, potato, sweet potato, catch, clean, cook. That's what we're doing right here. North Carolina delicacy. Woo, big North Carolina guy. So we do have a microwave. Uh, the old tap and that thing was probably made before I was born. Uh, but, I mean, maybe it'll work. Yeah, I'll probably get hate for cooking them this way, but I mean, the thing that's the way I've always done I, I mean, the oven, that thing, that thing don't turn on. So, I mean, the grill, we don't really have a good grill or anything, so we're going to have to do it. So I do know you need a puncture, otherwise you yeah. will have an exploding potato on yeah, your hand. So just take it. Just make a bunch of holes. What? Quick question, what's the difference between a sweet potato and a yam? Anyone, does anyone know that answer? Yes, I've never had yams. Is, is, yam, is a yam different? Yeah, 100%. I think so. Is it? Is it? I'm pretty sure. Is a yam a sweet potato or is a sweet potato a yam? They're the same. Which one came first, the chicken or the egg? I, I don't know what I'm saying at this point, but um, if you guys know what the difference is, let you let me know. But basically, you just pop a bunch of holes in there, and then you got to microwave for how long? What you thinking? It says five on line, but I've always done them seven. Seven? I mean, so throw them in, throw them in we'll at go, six. We'll go six. Yeah. We'll in the middle. Oh, God, yeah. That thing, nothing came crawling out, so that's good. Six minutes. 
Oh God, yeah, she runs. She runs like a champ. All right, well, my finger still hurts real bad, but that probably helped the swelling maybe a little bit. I'm not really sure. So anyways, we're gonna let this cook for six minutes. Wieners will probably be done in six minutes and we'll let you guys know what it looks like and how it tastes. And for dessert, I got a uh, beefcake delicacy, cool. Ze zebra cakes. Can't ever go wrong with good old zebra cake. So once we're done eating, hopefully we'll go out there and start exploring, start seeing coyotes, bobcats, and all sorts of chupacabras and stuff. So stay tuned. Shoo! They're looking good. Look at those little wieners right on there. Well, they're heated up. I think I just heard your sweet potato go off, so let's go. What the hell is that? I don't know. This is why we're gonna use the thermal something. I wouldn't even call that a bark or a crow or a growl. What would? Ah! That's what kind of these sound like. I'm scared. I'm going inside. Shoo! Sweet potato. Hot potato coming in hot. Look at that guy. Dude, that's a beefcake yeah, of a that's sweet a big potato. One, dude. Woo! Probably could have just cut big, these in half. Big dad. I was going to say, man, I'm going to be... Luckily, we got a golf cart to get around in. I was going to need to be I need like a wheelchair or something after all this this food. Go oh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So we got our wieners ready to rock and roll. We got two of them. And then big mama jam. So let, let me see what you got going on here. What's the strap? Cut her in half. Okay. Oh, God. oh yeah. She's, she's a steaming cooked. one, too. Shoo. All right. And then you got some butter. Butter. So you got a knife right here if you want to use one of them guys. Can I get you, get you a little butter action in there? Okay. Okay. All right. Sheesh. I Don't like be it. afraid to get. Oh. Shit. Don't right. be afraid to get a little buttery. What you're saying. All right. There you go. Okay. Okay. Come on. You got it. There you got it. All right. Butter them up. Then this is the good stuff. Ooh, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Oh, I was telling Zach, I'm like, listen, we got toast marshmallows, or I'm not interested. He's like, I'm not about the marshmallow in life. Uh, really? I know a lot of people that do it. I've never tried it. You've never, tr you've physically never tried it? All right, well, next time we're eating sweet potatoes together, I'm putting marshmallows on it and I'm freaking toasting them because it's fire. Yeah, I'll let you do your pinch on yours. Oh, okay, so I, I just got to take you a pinch and give a little. Give him one of these guys? Yeah. Like that much for one? Yeah, Is that good? That's okay. Fine. Okay, like one of them? Boom. Yep. And then you just kind of. And then you just mix it, mix, mix it, it and up. mash it. All right, well, I'm gonna get to mixing and mashing. What are your thoughts before the before the turn? I mean, I feel like you get butter and some sugar. You could be eating ass, and it might it'll taste good. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, I'm not doubting your doubting your abilities here. I will say around the edges is a little tough. I'm not sure. That big one might not have cooked. That, all that, that big dog might need a little, <laughs> a little extra second, but uh, you know, it'll it'll be done enough for me to do a taste here. Taste test. Hmm. Woo! Chew! That's fire right there. Man, that's almost like dessert. I could eat this. This could be my whole meal. Woo! How hot. Mm -hmm. All right, you were you were right. That was a good call. They're so easy to do. They're too. so that's that is easy. Microwave. Again, Big Sheila might have needed a couple extra minutes, but I'm gonna start picking at it. Okay, now you gotta put this wiener in your mouth. Is what needs <laughs> to happen. Because you've never had one of my deer wieners. Nope. This is a cheddar cheese deer wiener. Mm. Oh yeah. Is it warm in the middle? Mm -hmm. I was a little nervous. I didn't. I usually ch check them. I didn't check that one. That's good. What do you think about that? You probably wouldn't think that's deer, would you? No. No. There's no way. But it's better than your it's, normal. Yeah, hot dog. it's better than a, just a straight up hot dog. This thing. Mm. Oh, the crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not the first time we've eaten it, but first time you've eaten it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Well, we're going to finish grubbing up here. And then now that it's dark outside, we're going to get the thermal, get in the golf cart, and start exploring. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in the golf cart. Let's get to scanning. All right, nothing that way. We've got a deer feeder over here, so they could be over here. Oh, what is that? I don't know if that's something that's just part of the tree. Oh, it's gone. Oh, that's definitely, oh, bro, there's something. Oh, God, what is it? Oh, that's a deer. Dude, I barely could see him next to the tree. Yeah, there's his head and his neck. He don't even over here. This is crazy. He's behind a tree. I need him to step out. He's, like, right on the other tree line. It's definitely a deer grazing. Dude, this is so crazy. To, like, so weird. Oh, oh, well, there's something under our feeder. There's something small, something really small. I bet it's a raccoon or a possum. Dude, this is crazy. Why didn't we do this sooner? I know, dude, this is sweet. Dude, yeah, there's a raccoon. He's just sitting under there. There, see, now you can see that guy. Yeah, he's munching on that corn we dropped. Oh, it's a possum. It's a possum, I can see his eyes. Yep, look at his face, dude, he's a possum. <sighs> dude, this is crazy. It, maybe it could be a raccoon, I don't know. I was gonna say, for the stuff on the feeders, yeah, we can go back and check the cameras and then actually figure out what we were looking at. Bro, I have my phone on me right now. Hang on, there's this deer. I found the deer. Here it is. Yeah, there it is. It's still behind the freaking tree. You can see its head, though. Dude, this is wild, bro. Yeah, the quality on the scope is not doing too hot right now. Oh, hey, that was a good one. Oh, I see something else. Something small. Look at this, dude. He's moving. That's a, that's a what raccoon. What is it? Raccoon? It's a raccoon, yeah. 
You can see his tail. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? What the heck? Oh, there he is. Yeah, you can see his fluffy tail behind him, dude. There's literally a raccoon <laughs> going right towards the cabin. Look, the cabin's right. That's the cabin. He's headed right towards it. I don't know where he went now. Dude, this is wild, bro. We haven't even... Oh, there's the deer. There it is. Now you guys can get a good look at him. We haven't even driven 20 yards. Dude, we literally haven't driven. I've seen three animals. And then there's your little... That looks like a possum. Right there. We haven't even gotten to the good stuff yet. I don't see anything else. Dude, now you can see the deer. Clear as day. Yeah, there's a deer right there. Dude, this is about to be crazy. We literally haven't even left the cabin haven't yet. Even left. And I've seen like <laughs> six things. Oh, there's two deer. There's two deer, a possum, a mouse. I'm not recording, so you guys can't see any of this stuff, but. All right. Left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you see them? Yeah. Yeah, they're just sitting out there. Two deer. And then do you see the possum under the feeder? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's just like a, like a red blob. And then there's like a red dot on a tree too. That's so crazy, dude. We just oh. got here. They're just sitting there. Dude, I wonder what that is under the feeder. I think it's a possum because I can't see the fluffy tail like I could see on the other. I could see the fluffy tail on the raccoon running. He stood up. I think it's a possum. It could be a I mean, we can turn and, and see what it is. You can see those deer, like clear as deer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're just chilling. Well, we just found two deer. They're looking at us. I think we might have made too much noise. There's something to the right. Look at those guys. Oh, you hear that owl? There's something to the right of them. Oh, it's another deer. It's bedded down. Look at that guy. You can see his, see his ears. Three deer. Dude, they're just watching us. One is significantly warmer than the other, which is odd. <laughs> <laughs> like one, you can only see its head, and the other one's like really dark. That's so strange. And that guy's just bedded down, it looks like. This is just the craziest thing. Yeah, and one's laying down. Right now we're basically just right behind the pond, and uh, we, we didn't see much between here and the pond, but we got on the backside, and there's, we should start seeing some more stuff. Now we're kind of getting in more coyote, bobcat, country, a little thicker stuff, so hopefully we see something else. All right, folks, we just found, I can't tell what this is. It might be a deer. Don't see any other ones. He's right in front of us. We're going on a path down to the southwest corner here. I bet it's a deer. I mean, I can see that the ears. It could be a coyote. I can't tell how high up it's sitting. Bro, I, I don't know, it, it might be a coyote. No, no, definitely a deer. Yeah, that's Big Mama, she's walking. She's checking us out, she can hear me talking, she can't see me though. She might be able to see me, I don't know. They probably have pretty good vision at night. Yeah, she's hanging out. You can see how e much she sticks out. That's We're e e finding it easy to spot animals. Obviously at night, they show up pretty easy, so. Well. There's Big Mama. Let's keep cruising. I think we might have found... What is this? Let's see. Might be a deer. Dude, that could... No, that's a deer. Little one, though. I was gonna say, bro, this could be a coyote. <laughs> it's a small one. Its ears are pretty darn floppy to be a coyote, I think. Yeah, that's old Bambi, I think. Poor innocent Bambi don't even know we're here. Yeah, Bambi. Maybe next year, pal. She's coming right at us, though. She don't even know we're here. Now you can see her pretty good. So it's, it's weird, just her head's kind of, oh, then now it's getting a little warmer. Oh, maybe she's not that small. Dude, she has no idea we're here right now. Can you hear her walking? No, I can't. Oh, yeah. You can't hear that? Like crunching of grass? How far do you think she is? Oh, she's not that far. Maybe like 30 yards. She's peeing. <laughs> can you see the oh, pee? No, but I can see she's squatting down. It looks like, it looks like Millie when she pees. Oh, she can hear me. She's looking. Dude, this is the coolest thing I've ever done. She might be laying a deuce. She's taking a freaking minute. Pinch it off, cheese and rice. Oh, she's munching, dude. She don't even know. This is just crazy that, like, how stealthy this thing is. Oh, she's gonna just keep on going, I think. I was gonna wait and see how close she'd get to us. She's kind of coming towards us now. I take it they don't have great vision in the nighttime. Dude, she's coming right at us. You think she's gonna run into us? Dude, she might get, she might freak. It might be like one of those, like, funniest home video scenes where you get your ass beat by a deer. She can hear me, she's just looking at me now. She don't know what she don't know what's going on. I wanna see how close she's gonna get. Is she still going? She's standing. Oh, she knows. She's stomping. She's pissed. She's looking at her butt right now, I think. Dude, she's just looking at us. It's funny. And she's walking away. Well, that was a pretty cool one.
We just watched a deer poop, pee, lick its butt, all without being seen. She knows she can hear us talking, though. But if, I guarantee if I didn't say nothing, she'd probably walk right next to the golf cart. So we'll let her scurry up in the woods. I don't want to bump her too hard. Let's keep exploring. Where? To the right. I hear her walking. How close? Like 10 yards or so. <gasps> Do you hear that? Yeah. Oh, there's something. What is this thing? I don't know. It just scared it the crap be, out of it me. It might though. be a skunk. Oh, God. Oh god, it might be. Are we about to get sprayed? It might be. It looks kind of furry. Oh, it's definitely a skunk. It's gotta be. It scared the crap out of me. Yeah, no? What the hell is this sucker? Is it a raccoon? It might be a raccoon. Its tail's giant. Big old fluffy freaking tail. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a, ra that's a raccoon, I think. Or a squirrel. Oh no, it's a, it's a skunk. Oh god. Skunks have fluffy tails. Yeah, they've got the bigger tails. Yeah, that's probably a big ass skunk. He ain't he ain't spraying us. And then over here, we got this guy, which I don't know what this is. A blob of something. I might have to get closer. It's either a deer bedded down or it could be a coyote. Yeah, that, th that thing, whatever it was, dipped. I think it was a deer bedded down. I never saw it. Or it could be a coyote. It could have been a coyote that's a little smarter. It's pretty tough to see though. I just saw its head. It looked more like a deer. So we just pulled up to one of the feeders, and I think we got a Ricky or a possum. Ooh, tough. It's tough. He seems a little small. Oh, God, he's standing up like a grizzly bear, dude. The sucker is trying to square up. I'm not sure about this guy, but he looks dangerous. He's standing up on his hind legs like a damn human. He's just standing there. What do you think he's thinking right now? I'm serious. He's literally, I think, he's standing on his hind legs like an angry grizzly bear. <laughs> He ain't moving. What is this sucker? What are you thinking? I think it's a raccoon, but bro, he's oh oh my god, dude, he's getting in the feeder, bro. Oh my god. Did he open the lid? No, dude. He's hanging on it like a freaking monkey. <laughs> I swear to God, this is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Like through the holes in the bottom? Dude, his top his paws are through the holes and he's hanging on it like a monkey, and his head is eating out of the feeder. Dude. I swear to God, I just watched him crawl up there like a freaking ninja. This is the most insane thing I've ever seen. I cannot believe that just happened. This is, I do not want to mess with this guy. This guy is dangerous, dude. He can, I, I, the trail, I wonder if the trail cam's catching this. Oh, we have a trail cam right there. I want to see what happens when he falls down. Dude, that, he literally grabbed it, did a pull up, and right now he's just suspending himself and just absolutely chowing down. I want to see him try to get down. And then we're going to look at the trail cam footage. There he goes, he dropped, oh my god. Dude, these things are nuts. These things are nuts. Let's look at this trail cam footage, dude. He literally, he just like grabbed it and swung his hind legs and climbed it. He just, what oh, the heck? Dude, that was the wildest thing I've ever seen. No wonder all of our freaking proteins get munched. Let's see if this, this camera got it. Dude, it got it. it. Dude, I told you, he's in it. He's in it. Like, he's up in it right now. Look at him, he's had someone on his hind legs. Holy crap. And then he, dude, he's like grabbing it and curl, curled up on it. What in the world? Well, you guys just witnessed an absolute ninja of a raccoon. So they can get in our feeders. Oh yeah. That's a, that is something I have never seen before in my life. I'm not sure I want to see it, dude. Those suckers are scary. We got, we got to trap these suckers. All right, well, let's keep cruising. All right, what do we see, what do we see here, folks? I think another deer. Yeah, she's looking at us right now. Well, we got lots of deer. She's just staring. I don't see anything else. Mm. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a deer. I doubt it's a coyote. Coyotes probably wouldn't just stare, right? No. Yeah, it's definitely a deer. All right, well, saw another deer. Shoo! We made it back, ladies and gentlemen. As you saw, well, we saw quite a few creatures. Fortunately, no chupacabras, no Bigfoot, no bobcats or coyotes. Lots and lots. Oh, good. Talk about critters. Look at these freaking Jumalaya junk Jumbug things. Look at the these suckers are ever. Hopefully they didn't get inside now. Look at these things crawling on the windows. Wow, there's so freaking many of them. Maybe we shouldn't have left the lights on. Hopefully we don't have any holes in our screens. 
We're gonna be freaking. We're gonna might lose this war. Look at all these suckers. Anyways, you guys saw uh, raccoons, lots of deer. Um, kind of what I expect. I was really hoping to find some type of predator. There was one animal that I could just see the head of it, and then it ran away. And we were pretty far away from it. You know, the deer seemed to like hang out and not really like mind too much when we would like look, you know, sit there. But I think that one might have been a coyote, but it was really far away. Um, other than that, didn't really have a whole lot of predator action. But I had a good time. Hopefully, you guys had a good time watching. Um, a lot of you guys told us to do this, take a thermal out and explore. The next video you guys see with the thermal will hopefully be getting coyotes down on the ground. That's going to be the plan is actually going hunting sometime. Maybe over the next few weeks to month or so, um, you could expect to see that video. Maybe maybe tomorrow. I don't know when we're going to go next. Um, whenever, I guess, the weather's right. I also kind of want to get somebody to come with us that knows what they're doing. Never hunted coyotes at night with a thermal. Um, well, I kind of have my backyard, but that ain't really hunting. This is like finding a spot, strategically placing out there, putting the calls out. I don't know what calls to do at night. I think like in the spring, there's like a bunch of pups stuff so like you know you know the puppy stuff and do all that type of deal so i don't really know you'll have to let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section down below hope you guys enjoyed today's video we'll catch you in a bit and peace